Hey everyone, this is Lala Reddy from Abstract Music Lab, and today we're here to recreate basses like Tin Liquor, Art Bod, Melodic Techno, Progressive House, whatever the genre you want to create that it has a plucky kind of bass. This is a tutorial for you, and we're gonna use Vito for this tutorial. Vito is a free synth that you can get it here in the description below. It's an amazing synth, and I've been using it a lot and a lot more. And today we're gonna share with you four or five presets that you can use in your tracks as well. So as usual, you can grab all the presets here in the description below. You can grab all the midis as well in the description below. And if you want to support the channel, you can get us a coffee or you can get our preset packs available here in the description below or in the top right corner. But let's get down to business and let's get started with the sound design. Let's get started here with Vital. So we're going to start here with a classic a classic rhythm like a bum 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 just so you can see the midi over here. Let me close Vital. And we have to make this into something that is going to be a little bit more plucky. So essentially, we're going to start here with Vital. And in Vital, let me put this over here. We're going to start always by choosing a filter. And sometimes you're going to use envelope one, sometimes you're going to use envelope two. But for this one, let's start. Let's put this all the way down. Let's put this with envelope two. Put the sustain all the way down. And we're going to use this envelope here to modulate the cutoff with not so much resonance. The filter, we're going to use a 24 dB filter. You can see it's a bit tighter. This will be the first one. Normally, I like to use a little bit of distortion. It does bring a little bit of body into the sound. If you want, you can also use EQs and you can also use a filter. And we're going to probably use a filter because with distortion, it adds a little bit more of mids in the sound. And we want, don't want necessarily this to be there. So uh, same process again. Bring this to the cutoff. If you want more cutoff, we're going to do also an acid kind of baseline in the end. But also you can push it here a little bit more of the mids. This is the Q. If you don't feel that it needs to have that much high end. This is the first bass and we're going to now go to the second bass and the second bass will be something a little bit different. So let's initialize the preset over here. Same thing. For the second one, we're not going to use saw waves. We're just going to use sine waves. And you might ask me how we're going to do this, but we're going to choose two sine waves over here. The first one is going to be at 100% and the other one at 0%. So this is how it sounds like. Basically not the sound what we want, but we're going to go here into the modulation. We're going to choose FM from oscillator 2. And you can play around with the oscillator 2 pitch as well. So without the FM. Or if you want this higher. But I want it at minus 12. You can see it already brings that granularity to the sound, right? And that's the kind of sound that we want. Now, second thing is let's modulate the sound. Now we're going to do it with envelope 1. So playing around, always sustain down because I have to make something plucky. So sustain always down. We're going to play around with the decay. We're going to play around with the handle also over here. Filter, MG low 12, put this all the way down. And let's put this envelope over here in the, in the cutoff. Maybe less. Oh, second thing now, effects, same thing. We're going to go here into distortion. But second, we're going to use something different. Let's start here with a compressor. Maybe let's start with a distortion. And then we add the compressor. You can see how much it adds of that mids in the sound, right? There's also like a click, an annoying click over there. So we're going to go again, filter. We have to always make sure that after we do all the processing over here, we have to make sure that it goes back to the sound that we want. So the filter would likely be in the end, always. So 
just put the cutoff over here. Envelope two, modulating here. If you want it to be tighter, you put the cutoff all the way down and you increase here the modulation. You can see we have a, a different kind of sound from the first one, which is a bit more aggressive, but it's also really cool and it also has a lot of character in the sound. Leo, but what about EQs? If you want, you can definitely just go here after you filter it. Or before. This brings a little bit more of the mids in the sound, right? What about reverb? I don't like reverb for basses, but if you want, you can always do. But one, one thing that I always recommend is put the low cut always all the way down. Yeah. Because you can't have that low wind rumbling in the sound. So just if you didn't have this over here, you'd have the low end from the reverb going into the sound, which is not what we want. Let's go to our third sound. And if you're liking the video so far, hit the like button. If you're loving it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. And as usual, if you want to grab the presets, they're always here in the description below. So now let's go to preset number three. Now let's spin things up. Let's make, let's make something a little bit more rolling bass. I have a rolling bass over here, just so you can listen. But let's make something a little bit more like Anima. They have something really cool in their song running. In the song running, what they did was initial preset. Put the envelope over here all the way down. This release a little bit longer. And we're going to use a filter over here. Resonance down 24 dB cut over here in the filter. We're going to put this all the way back and we're going to use this envelope one to modulate this around half. You can see already creates that kind of rolling bass kind of feeling, but you can always make it have a little bit more character. Also distortion and EQ. So EQ is going to always play a big role over there. So without it and you can see it has a really big nice sound into it but now we have to make it a little bit tighter we're gonna have a filter over here and in this filter same thing put this one over here maybe yeah without anything we're gonna put this not all the way down and envelope two we're gonna make something shorter over here but with this envelope two this is mod modulating this So without it, it kind of gives a bit more of a sound, but still not the main sound that we want. Let's add a little bit of resonance and let's put this cutoff a little bit down. And lastly, if you want, this is not necessary, but if you want, again, you can always add, for example, a phaser. Just to add a bit of character, I would recommend putting the depth all the way down and the mix just a little of it. There you go. You have a really cool sound, really cool sound for rolling basses. So this is preset number three. Let's go to preset number four. Preset number four, we're going to do something again different. What are we going to do here? So essentially, we're going to initialize the preset again. We're going to start here with initial preset. We're going to start here and put this into a basic shapes. Basic shapes also over here. Mm, should we do basic shapes over there as well? Let's keep it deactivated for now. But now this one is going to be a square wave. And we're going to make this with a little bit more voices of unison and Lower the detune to around 10%. 
same thing. We're going to put this all the way down. Filter 1 and 2. And now we're going to put this over here into the cutoff again. Without the oscillator 2. So the oscillator 2 gives a bit of body to the sound. But we also can do something really cool with oscillator 2. So let's go and activate oscillator 3. Let's also put it to filter number 1. Maybe you can make this even crunchier. Good work. But I feel that this could work as well. Let's put this here as FM from 2. So without it, it adds a bit of body to the sound, which is a really cool sound. Now let's go to the effects section. In the effects, compressor, multiband compression. You can see how much of a, a character it gives. Let's try something over here. That's really cool. It adds a lot of body to the sound. Distortion afterwards. You can see how much of the sound, how big the sound is. And again, filter towards the end. It's always going to end up like this. We're going to pick here, put this halfway through, and then also put it here in the cutoff. But let's make it, let's actually use envelope two over here, put it over there. And let's use the same technique as what we use here in the base number two. Let's make this a little bit tighter. So if you want more attack, you can leave it at analog 12 dB. If you want less, put it to 24. You can see it feels tighter with it, right? I'd recommend putting the resonance all the way down. Maybe a little bit more here. What if this was at zero? Yeah, I still like this. A lot more aggressive this way. And again, if you want to push the mids, just so you can have a little bit more of a sound to it. And if you don't want it that aggressive, you can always put the envelope too a little bit down. And essentially, that's it. Now, let's go and make sure that everything is fine. Everything is fine with this sound. Make it a bit bigger here. Bass number four. Now let's go to bass number five and our last bass. Let's make something a little bit more acid with this one. So if you want to make something more acid, the key again, filter envelope. You're going to put this over here and put this all the way down. But if you want to make it acid, the key is the resonance over here. Maybe not as much. You can see the wow, 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 wow. That comes from this. And again, analog 12 dB. Now, again, let's add something else to give a little bit extra taste to the sound. But. We're going to put this all the way down and we're going to add another basic shapes and we're going to use this envelope over here to modulate the envelope three. Now, what about this? This is cool. Adds a bit of low end to the sound, right? Without it. So it adds that acid feeling, but also giving a little bit of low end. And it doesn't change that much over here. Again, we can always use compression. We can always use distortion. And one thing that is also cool to use with distortion is sometimes use sign phone. 
it makes it really like you can go really intense with Seinfeld. But again, filter, we're gonna just put this all the way down. Envelope one. And again, filter. Not necessarily you have to do the resonance again. I always recommend just doing it once, otherwise it can get a little bit messy over here, as you can see. But it's up to taste. That's good enough. Now let's go and throw in a compressor over here. Or over here. Now, what if we added and make it a little bit wider? We can add a chorus. can see how much wider it becomes you can also add a flanger as with with it and also depth all the way down normally i don't like when basses wobble that much What if you don't want to have it as a sub feeling? So just add a low cut over here. But again, that's up to you. If you want to have a sub feeling with it. And essentially that's it. We have four bases over here. We have the first base, which is the simplest one. We have the second one, which is a little bit more aggressive. We have the third one, which is a rolling bass. We have the fourth one, which is a little bit wider. And we have the fifth one, which is a little bit more acidy. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comment sections below which kind of videos, which kind of tutorials you want to see for Vital. So we can definitely recreate it over here. We can do brass tabs, we can do leads, we can do recreations as well. So let me know here in the comment section below what you want to see next with Vital. And I hope to see you soon in the next abstract video next week. Ciao.